So in today's class, what we'll do is in the introduction class, demo class, first I will introduce the subject. What what kind of subject this is? So like that we will we, we will discuss something, okay? And then we will I will introduce you the syllabus of the PSAR, okay? And then three, what we will do is we will discuss um, in the class how class will be there, uh, what you can expect from the class. So all these things we will discuss. Uh, what is the our entire program duration, etc. How you have to prepare? So that we will discuss, okay? And then uh, I will give you the book list is also available in the last of the page. Okay, book list is there. And then after that, um, we can, uh, we will go for the question and answer session. If you have any doubt regarding uh, the subject means, you can ask me. Okay, regarding this option. Okay. So first, um, coming to the subject. See, see, compared to any other subject in your syllabus, uh, Tamil literature also uh, compact syllabus. This subject is having a compact syllabus. Syllabus size is very less. Okay. So other subjects are there. Okay. In a particular social science subjects, other subjects, are, uh, subject size is very big. Okay. So that doesn't mean that we can rejoice. Okay. So size is small means more content is there. Okay. So that also you have to notice. Okay. But the point is, see, if you are writing for 2022 examination means, if you have three months uh, time for preparing means, you can do it. We can go with uh, this kind of subject, political science subject. So this is the first thing you should know. It's a compact subject. Okay. Um, uh, so in each paper, you have two sections. Two papers are there. I think you know. Paper one, section A is there. Paper two, section uh, paper one, section A, section B. Paper two, section A, section B will be there. So one minute. One minute. <coughs> okay. So this is paper one. In paper 1, section A, section B will be there. Like that, paper 2, section A, section B will be there. Okay. Paper 1, section A is political theory. Political theory. The first 10 chapters in paper 1, section A is political theory. Okay. The core of political science. The majority of the time we will be spending in this only. If you complete this means other paper, other parts are over, literally over. And then paper 1, section B is the application of this part in Indian context. Okay. Indian government and politics. Indian government and politics. This is the section B. So what are the theories we have studied? We will be reading it in Indian context, Indian constitution context, the polity part. Okay. How in Indian polity, Indian politics, Indian constitution, Indian law, these ideas are applied and how we are uh, enjoying it, how we are, uh, what are all the problems we are facing. Thus, we will be, that, that those things we will be discussing this under Indian government and politics. Okay. In paper 2, section A, we have the IR theories. IR theories. Okay. Comparative politics is there. So, this is paper 2, section A. Paper 2, section B is the application of this part with respect to India. So, international relation theory is no international relation application, India and the world, the bilateral relation part. So, this is how your subject is there. Okay. Paper 1, two sections. Paper 2, two sections. Paper 1, you have political theory in section A. Section B, the Indian, Indian part, the Indian application. A is theory, B is application. Here also A is theory, B is application. This is international relation theories. This is international theory, how India is uh, developing relationship with other countries. So that bilateral part, what you uh, do in GS, same thing only, nothing new, same thing only. Okay, so this is how your syllabus is there. Okay. <coughs> is it clear? Okay. And then you see in your uh, paper, uh, there will be eight questions will be there in each and every paper. Paper one or paper two, both I am telling. Eight questions will be there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in mains examination. Question number 1 and question number 5 will have 5, that means 5 into 10 marks. 5 questions will be there. 5 into 10 marks will be there. 5 questions will be asked. This question is compulsory question. You have to write it. You don't have any other choice. The instruction itself it will be given. Question number 1 and question number 5 are 
compulsory question. You have to write that question. If you miss it and you are writing some other choice means you may not be getting the full mark. 50 marks is gone. Okay, you have to attend these two questions, compulsory question. That will be 5 into 10 mark question. 5 10 mark questions will be there. Each question carry 50 marks. Total mark is 250. Uh, so 250. So 5 into 50 questions, uh, 50 marks you will be writing, that will be 250. Okay. 1 and 2, 1 and 5 are compulsory. So out of the remaining 6, you have to attend only 3 questions. 3 questions you have to attend. But you have to at least answer one question from each section. That means either 2 or 1 and 2 or 1. Like that you have to attend. So this is how the question pattern will be there. In this question, 2, 3, 4 and 6, 7, 8, uh, uh, 2 into 15 mark question will be there. That will be 30 marks. Sir. 1 into 20 marks will be there. That will be 20 marks. Total 50 marks. Each question will be like that. 2, 15 mark question, 120 mark question. Okay. So like that only your question pattern will be there. Okay, so the thing is, in a question paper, 8 questions will be there. Question 1 and question 5, the 5 10 mark questions, 5 into 10 mark questions, that you have to compulsorily attend. You have no other choice. Question can be asked from any, any part of the syllabus. So you have to read all the syllabus. You can't skip any part. In the syllabus, we can skip a particular chapter. No, that question will come here. Compulsory question means you are finished. If it is coming here, means you can leave it in choice. But here, if it is coming, means you have no other choice. So you have to cover the entire syllabus. That means the point is whatever topic is asked from the particular syllabus, you should be able to write up to the 10 mark level. Like that you have to prepare. Okay. And then out of the remaining questions, 2, 3, 4 and 6, 7, 8, you will be writing two questions from one side and one question from other side. So like that you have to prepare. Okay. Total 5 questions. 250 marks. Okay. But preferably what I see, uh, how you have to attend, whether you have to take two questions from here, and one question from here or two questions from here, one question from here. That depends upon your capacity. If you are very good in <coughs> concepts means, you have to go for section A. In section A, you have to write three questions. One compulsory plus two other questions. Section B, one or the two compulsory questions. One, uh, one question will be there. Another question you have to write now. One question compulsory you have to write uh, from the other section. So that uh, compulsory 100 marks you have to attend. 150 marks from one section, 100 marks from other section. So like that you have to take. But you are very good in proficiently, you can write very well. The general writing is coming for you very well. Like that things are there means, then definitely you can go for section B. Okay, so, uh, so like that you can take it. That depends upon how you are preparing for the subject. So that, that means <coughs> in our subject, Static parts are there, dynamic parts are also there. Literally we can say 50 percentage static, 50 percentage dynamic subject. Okay, static part means all concepts, the theories, the thinking of different, uh, the, uh, the, that means the ideas proposed by different thinkers. So everything will come in 50 percentage. Another 50 percentage, 100 percentage current affairs. Okay, so 100 percent current affairs. So this you have to note it. Okay, so that's why I'm telling, uh, see for example, uh, gen, uh, the, the general idea is, see, if I, see, uh, people have different, different capacity. There will be certain people will be there. If uh, uh, you, you give them some two, three points, means they will speak for hours. Like that, certain people will be there. Like that, if you just, they just know what is that means, they can e easily write something fairly. Okay, they can deceive the, uh, that means the, uh, the evaluator. So they can write a very good answer with just two, three points. They know how to elaborate the two, three points. Like that certain people will have capacity. And certain other people, how they will do is, they will do like uh, the school, 10th, 12th type. If it is given in the book means, they will write very nicely. If it is not given in the book means, they will not do it. Like that also people will be there. So this people is, a, th this subject is a combination. Like that only the subject is there. So if, suppose you think that I can just reproduce alone. I can't think and then write means. Uh, uh, then you can go for this literature like subject that will be better there only they won't they, any twist will not be there here static part is also there and then thinking part is also there we have choice we can adjust but anyway what I'm telling is uh, you should have both the capacity you should be very clear in concepts and you should be very good in applying the concepts to the practical uh, life like that if you have the capacity means you will get through so this subject is very good Okay, so now I will stick only to the concept means so you can take section A, 
Section B, three questions will be there. Six, seven, eight will be there. You can take, you, all you have to do is write one question. That easily you can do it. Okay, so subject is dynamic, subject is static. Both parts are there. Okay, so this is important. And then analytical part is also there. Current affairs part is also there. Analytical part is there. So, okay, they will define what, like this only things are there. Whether it is correct or not, whether it is going good or not, like that they will be asking. They won't ask you to describe that. They will be asking you to uh, comment on that. Analyze that. So like that also questions are there. Whether Plato's idea, Plato is a thinker. Plato's idea is go in lines with the today modern world or modern India. <coughs> or analyze Plato's uh, ideas. Like that they may ask a question. There you should not explain what Plato is telling. You should comment or you should uh, evaluate what Plato is telling. Okay. So we will do all these things. Okay. So, uh, uh, so you, uh, and, and I am telling if you wanted to clear the entire examination means you have to develop all the skills irrespective of the option subject I'm telling okay irrespective of the option, option subject you should have all the skills you should be able to reproduce what is uh, having in the book in the paper that capacity also you should have at the same time analytically also you should be able to write it then only you can top the chart your name will be in the list I have only one skill means the other skill you don't have means no problem but you have to develop that that is the only way you have no other choice you have no other choice so you can understand okay so what I'm telling is, um, uh, that means if you are very good in concept means, okay, 50% is in that. If you are very good in analytical, general writing, generally I can write well, I can write proficiently means content is also there. For that also questions are there. Okay. And you have to note that the biggest advantage of this particular subject is, majority of this uh, chapters, syllabus are overlapping with our GS. Okay. So literally I am telling, you will be reading only 30 to 40 percentage, no, no, just 30 percentage maximum, 30 to 35 percentage only, you will be reading it only political science syllabus. That will be useful only for PSA or option paper. Remaining, uh, I am telling, what I am telling is the remaining uh, 60 percentage of the part, whether you like it or not, whether you take political science or not, you have to read it in, because it is coming in GS 1, 2, 3 paper. You can't escape. So the thing is, uh, political science, if you are very good means, you can, uh, that means we are completing a considerable portion of GS also. Okay. So since it is overlapping, preparation is very, very easy. Okay. So, but, 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 uh, but you have to apply your idea and the knowledge. Okay. Then only easily you can, you can handle. So you are in polity also, GS2 also polity is there. Here also polity 2 is there in section B. Okay. But in fact, how questions will be there means in GS2, you have polity, you have bilateral relation. Here in section B, both the paper 1 section B is polity. Paper 2 section B is bilateral relation. Same syllabus only. But you have to note that in which in which paper uh, and questions will be tough. PSAR. So this is what you think. But PSAR question will be straightforward. Simple question. Even now you can write the answer. Like that only um, the questions will be there. But in GS questions will be tough. Questions will be tough. That doesn't mean that we can be very happy. Question is easy means our part is tough. Question is tough means if you can crack the question right fairly means you'll get the maximum marks. Question is very easy means you everybody will write that answer. Am I right? You have to outsmart all other people. Okay. So you have to write very well. Then only you'll get the marks. The minimum marks we can get it. That guarantee is available. Okay. In uh, both the polity part and uh, India and the world part. India and the world part and all, if you are prepared for GS means no need to prepare for this. Okay, so answer writing slightly will differ. We here you will be using the international relation, that concepts and all, that keywords and all you will be using it. That's all. That's the only thing. Otherwise, same idea only. Nothing to prepare new. Same preparation only. We are not going to prepare anything new. And apart from that, modern India is also there. Paper 1, section B, uh, chapter number 1, Indian nationalism is there. Political strategies of Indian freedom struggle. This is nothing but modern India. Your modern India syllabus. So history is of modern India is also covered here. Okay. And then, and then uh, if you take paper two, uh, section A. Chapter seven. Chapter seven is world history. Post World War history. Chapter eight, international economy. It will come in paper three. And then. Uh, chapter 9, United Nations, that is also paper, uh, that means um, 
GS only. And then regionalization of world politics in this uh, international organization he discovered. And then chapter number 11, contemporary global concern. That is essay topics. So you have to know that most of the topics I am telling, even from the 30 percentage I said political science only syllabus, only 10 percentage only you will be reading it for political science only sake. All remaining things we can use it in GS, GS, GS syllabus only and we can also use it in essay and ethics also. So in ethics and all you will be reading about morals, values etc. So here in uh, political science see in chapter 1 what, you, uh, what we will do. In chapter 1, we will be reading about what is called justice. Chapter 3 is justice. Chapter 4 is equality. Chapter 5 is right. Chapter 6 is democracy. Chapter 7 is power. So this is what ethics, how to use this, how to apply this in a society. This is ethics paper. So we know the core concepts. Okay, all you have to do is apply this idea in ethics paper. Okay, so, so this is the most friendly subject you have in your syllabus compared to any other option that I will tell you. Particularly GS friendly uh, option paper means it is political science only. It helps in GS 60 percentage. Other papers for geography is there. I mean geography is also there in GS 1. 10 percentage it will help. Okay. Pu public administration means for governance it will help. Economics means in th third paper it will help. Okay. 10, 10, 20 percentage maximum. But our paper will help 60 percentage. So this is the biggest advantage we have in our syllabus. Okay. But you should have a very good reading habit. This is very, very, very important. Even you don't have reading habit, you start reading habit from now. You read general books. Apart from the books which is prescribed for exam purpose, you have to read general reading. Last year preliminary examinations and all, certain questions were asked. It was not available in any of the books. Only when people have the curiosity to read, know-how, know-how curiosity. What is this? What is that? Like that. Curiously, people will learn, no? Search there and then learn something, no? Only for those people, only examination is there. Nowadays, the examination trend is completely changing. So, you should have a general idea about everything. And exam-specific topics, you have to go for exam-specific. So, like that, if you prepare means, you can crack through. Okay. So, and then you should properly follow newspapers. So, that is very, very, very important. If you want to clear the examination, irrespective of this uh, option, sign, optional paper, I am telling. You take even max. If you are not following newspaper means, you are not going to get through. Mostly, most probably. Because you won't get that confidence. That is important. You won't get the confidence. Okay. So you have to properly follow the newspaper. While reading the newspaper, your entire syllabus, what you have to do is, so where this particular news can be used as an example. Uh, for example, the Maharashtra, now political developments are going. Okay. Use that in anti-defection. In a... Uh, um, that means in uh, union government in paper 1 section B. The principal organs of union government chapter 4. So while reading the newspaper itself you have to mark. So where we can use this particular example. If your answer is live answer current affairs based examples and all you are giving means. You will get the maximum marks. You will get the maximum marks. Okay. So subject is easy only. So concept area 50 percentage is concept area. Uh, remaining 50 percentage is application. So directly actually you can write the examination like that only things will be there. Okay, but if, if you want to get good marks means we have to prepare and then do it. Even United Nations, uh, reforms in United Nations, every year they are asking the same question, every alternate year. So that doesn't mean that uh, we should not prepare, we need not prepare. If you prepare means you will be write better. Even if it is a well known topic, general, general awareness topic, you know that well. For example, they are asking about women rights, gender, uh, gender disparity. They are asking about human rights, terrorism, like that generally they are asking the question means, uh, you have to note that um, if you prepare well means you can write it better. Okay, so you have to note that uh, uh, you have to prepare each and every topic. Okay, um, subject, subject is friendly subject only. Okay, but normally what people will, will do is they will buy a political science book. And then they will try open chapter number one. And then in that in that section A paper one, there is a chapter called political theory, meaning and approaches. This is a raw dry theory. One chapter. If you are that means actually we have to go from chapter one to three only, but in our class we will not go like that. So there is a way to enter. Chak chakra view means a, there is a method no to enter. Like that, if you go like that, means easily we can handle all this. 
Okay, but if people do open the book and start reading what is political theory, what are the meanings and approaches of political theory meant, everybody will run out of the subject. Okay, I will tell you because uh, there is a method is there. E actually, a very easy chapter. But if you are going for that first means without uh, uh, some introduction or guidance means, people may find it tough. Okay, chapter one is alone tough. And note that chapter one in paper one section A and chapter one in paper two section A is same chapter only. Paper one two. Okay, so that is uh, comparative politics, state in comparative politics. Here political theory, theories of state. Both are same chart, literally same chart, a slight difference only. So again, in the same subject also, it overlapping is there. Okay, so the thing is, the subject is compact, number one. This is number one advantage. Number two, if you are good in concept means, you have scope here. If you are good in writing analytics means, you have scope here. Okay, so you can do it. So, we, so you should have both the qualities. That is important. M mostly people may have only one quality. Other quality they may not have developed so far. Only when the material is available, the clear material is available, then only they can write an answer. Like that people will be there. Okay, so that is a, that is also a talent. But uh, what I am telling is the 12th standard line. Okay, science means uh, out of the syllabus no question will be there. Question, only from that. Like that is also a talent. But that, like that also our portion is there. And analytical portion is also there, dynamic portions are also there. Whatever you are reading, writing, I mean whatever subject it is there, you should re relate to current relevance. Then only you will get the marks. So in our syllabus we have Plato, Aristotle, Machiavelli. These people lived 2000 years before. Why we have to read all these people's ideas? Because tomorrow you are going to face the people. You are going, you are going to be the leader of a, that means head of a district. Okay, there you will be facing problems. You have to apply these ideas. What will work, what will not work. What is political science? Somebody tell me what is political science? Politics is all about. Politics means what comes in your mind? What is politics? Yes? Yes? Administration. Okay, you can give better answer. Yes, yes? Uh, handling the situation. Okay, so you have to do the administration when things are getting complex. That is important. Administration means uh, so just uh, so again I am telling you have uh, you need 100 demand is there 100 supply is there means uh, that means appropriating uh, each and everybody their due that is not uh, that is not just administration always deficiency will be there problems will be there so you have to tackle that and then evenly you have to distribute the resources to the maximum and see to that all the people are getting everything or the most needy people are getting the uh, things first so like that like that you have to do something okay so all these ideas you have to apply whether this will work how people thinking will be there so that is politics politics means people normally think that it is creating problem in our family also will say this uncle comes means he will create politics you will say no this for this guy we have to be careful he will do politics in a family function means one one particular one particular relative comes means everybody will say everybody be careful so they will they will create some kind of problem we should not allow that like that we say no, each and every family it is there each and every family society country this problem is there but politics is not about creating problems yes creating problem is also politics but politics are always about giving solution to the problems that is politics solution finding the solution is politics you can understand finding the uh, solution there is some kind of problem in the society how to uh, work out and then make the society better even there is no problem how to make the society a better society so that is politics that is politics okay so sometimes what happens is sometimes thing if you are, you are going to a particular place where the problem is being dealt things are not going in your favor then what do you have to do that politics what we think no that we have to do we have to see to that no nothing will come out of that uh, no outcome will be coming out of that particular meeting Twist, put a twist and put a knot and then come back. Create problem and then come back. Sometimes creating problem also will lead to a solution to the issue. Okay, sometimes easily we can solve. Sometimes, see the thing is we have to go according to our interest. Okay, so if India is going and going for an international meeting means, why India is going and attending, see to that India will get benefit from that particular meeting. If you are getting benefit means, okay, very, very good. Not getting benefit, if they sign an agreement, things will become complex for India or go against India, then what India have to do? India have to create a problem there. That is positive approach, okay? Creating problem not for destruction, 
to see to that you will not get any uh, anything negative okay so that is politics so that only we generally think that politicians mean they are cunning people mm, they they will be div uh, uh, i mean uh, divisive people that means they will uh, they will uh, cheat others they want to, uh, the what 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 we will say they want to keep up their promise always they will tell lies but because still telling lies is important sometimes okay every time you are telling the truth means that is not completely good you will get into trouble or you may get other people into trouble okay so politics means it is a device it is a it is a mechanism to solve the problems of the society or to make the society a better society we need we need this political thing okay that is that is political thing subject okay so newspaper reading is important general reading is also very very important so without that it will be difficult okay difficult to clear the entire examination even you go for mathematics no problem you take chinese literature no problem without reading newspaper you can't get through okay that is a must so that means so if if you are if you are meeting the requirements of political science means you are meeting the requirements to become a civil servant okay so you can understand so other subject without reading newspaper you can handle but here without newspaper you can't handle this subject gs means you have to read a newspaper you have to go for the general reading without that you can't do it so same thing only is here so so what i am telling is if you are good in political science means you have a better chance here so some benefits are available in a video game bonus point will be the available no like that bonus point lot of bonus points are there in this subject but you have to grab it if you are just skipping and then you are not taking the bonus point means nobody can do anything nobody can help you so you can understand like that the subject is there so it's a gs most gs friendly subject um uh, so every subject have own its plus and minus so here what what when i was studying political science and all nobody was there to explain these theories majority of the people will lose what these thinkers are telling why they are telling this somebody will be telling something sometimes it will be awkward why this guy is telling like this if you if it is not acceptable to us means we may not be able to understand that particular idea why he is talking about this thing why what is the problem here that is the issue but if you if you know the background of that why he said that particular thing that means you see suddenly i will not say something there will be some kind of problem i will be thinking how to solve the particular problem based on that only what i will do i will give a new philosophy or a new term or a new concept new idea if you are reading that idea in isolation means you will not find out why why why, why this is coming here why this guy is telling like this like that you may get into trouble but if you know the background the situation the problem in the particular uh, uh, country or the region time then you you, uh, you 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 relate that particular idea with that particular time and history means easily we can easily we can reason okay this is why he said that so easily we will accept that particular idea many many different different contrasting ideas we will be learning okay so with the history with the timeline you have to read it it will be better okay so subject is easy subject only definitely writing practice is very very important okay even you are writing concepts you should be able to present the answer precisely concisely simple answer but clear answer you will get maximum marks okay so we will do that so now we will ch uh, check what all the items available in our syllabus okay okay so this is paper 1 section a paper 1 section a okay see if uh, for example if you have 30 uh, 3 months to prepare for examination this paper means you are allocating 3 months 3 months is enough actually our paper 3 months is enough if you are allocating 3 months means what uh, if i am a student means i, I know the subject so tomorrow i am going to write the examination means i have to prepare now for myself or uh, even though i know i have to prepare so how i will allocate my time i will tell you so that you will have an understanding so 3 months i have Three months for political science. Along with the GS, I have to prepare. So what I will generally recommend is: so now you have started preparing uh, option paper, that is PSIR from July. So the first six months you have to give more importance to option subject only. So since political science means you give importance to political science alone. That means two third of the time in your preparation, I will be using it for PSIR only. So that will be better for the first six months. the class will be over by november end or december end okay so depending upon the class discussion how long we are discussing based on that only we can't exactly say how much class will be there 
okay so but class will be there up to november weekend okay it may extend up to december so uh, what i will do is for the three months first six months you prepare this because you are preparing for the first time you can take six months that means what i am going to do in three months you have to go do it in six months okay i will allocate 60 days for prepare, preparing the entire syllabus 30 days for revision this is how i will prepare if i have three months man the weight is subject weightage i am telling 60 days two months i will use it for completing the syllabus reading everything knowing everything in the syllabus two months what is two months stuff only is there if i am allocating two third of our time daily three hours i am spending means minimum three hours maximum five hours i am spending on political science means within two months i can complete this paper entire syllabus Remaining one month, I will go for complete revision and in the fourth month, I will go for the mains examination. Okay, in the six, uh, 60 days, uh, I am going to complete the syllabus, no? How I will allocate is, nearly, I will allocate 40 days for paper 1, section A. Paper 1, section A. This part, this 10 chapters. 35 to 40 days, I will allocate for this 10 chapters. Only. Because here only the real content is there. You have to syllabus real syllabus is here only political science is here only paper one section a will carry nearly um, uh, that means nearly i can say 50 to 60 percentage of the total weightage of time okay so for example i am taking 35 days for this means for this paper one section a means remaining 25 days i will be having in the 25 days i will prepare some 15 days for paper two section a 15 days for paper 2 section A. So how much days I am having? Remaining I have 10 days. 10 days is enough for paper 1 section B and paper 2 section B. Because since I am also preparing that syllabus for GS. So that is enough. That, that much only the weightage is there. Okay. If you prepare for 3 to 5 years means this is how uh, the weightage will be there. But evenly in each and every section you, uh, uh, marks are same. But this is how we have to prepare. This much effort we have to put. That means 50 to 60 percent or literally 50 percentage of the total effort, the content is in the paper 1 section A only. Another 20 percentage is paper 2 section A. Remaining 30 percentage only the remaining two sections. Okay. Easily we can do it. And then I will go for one full revision and then I will go for examination. Okay. So India and the world and all you have attended by a bilateral class in, uh, in GS, no? Beyond that, nothing is required. The, all you have to do is follow the newspaper. Newspaper plus class. Enough. That's all. No special preparation is required. Okay. But you will be preparing the different. We will be using certain uh, terms in that particular uh, answer. That's all. That's the only thing. So that easily it will come. So this is the weightage. In paper 1, section A, you have the political theory. What is political science? What is political theory? And then theories of the state. How the state should be there. That is there in the theories of the state chapter. Okay. And then what is called justice, and then with special reference to Rawls justice, and then equality, the types of equality, social, political, economic equality, relation between equality and freedom, affirmative actions. So that is chapter four. All are easy chapter. One day, one day content only. And then rights. What are the, the different theories, different kinds of rights, and what is human rights? And then like the democracy. What are the different types of democracy? Different models of democracy. And then concept of power, hegemony, ideology, and legitimacy. And then this is the core theory, okay, the ideologies, liberalism, socialism, Marxism, fascism, Gandhism and feminism and then Indian political thinkers and then Western political thinkers. So in that I said, no, I will take nearly 40 days for preparing paper one section A. In that, most of the time will be spent on the 8, 9, 10 only. If you complete 8, 9, 10 months, literally the subject is over. Same thing only will be repeating in both the papers. That means the understanding part, you have to understand something, you no? Know? All you have to understand is chapter 8, chapter 9 and chapter 10. If you are good in these three chapters, man, remaining things are just the repetition of this idea only. Okay? So different ideologies, different thinkers. So we should be very thorough in that, very thorough in that. This will take 25 to 30 days for me. Remaining 10 days, I will, I will complete the remaining chapters. So out of the 40 days, 30 days I will allocate for this chapter. Only this is the core of political science. Core of political science. If you know these ideas, these thinkers, these ideologies, means you have to note that your, your, your paper reading habit will become a different one compared to other people. 
why this is there, how it is there. So they are applying this idea. Like that you will be reading. Okay, so actually it is a preparing political science is actually a fun. Okay, you can enjoy and then you have to prepare. So then only you can reap the benefit. Okay, so the chapter 1 section A carries the 50% of the weightage. In that these three chapters alone carries 30% of the weightage. These three chapters you are good men. Remaining things you can prepare on your own. Like that only it will be there. Okay, so you can also prepare on your own political sense, no problem. But thing is, uh, you it may take some time. Okay, it will consume a lot of time. So, okay, next year you are targeting means, then classes are required. Without classes, it will be tough only, but you can do it. I am not telling you can't prepare on your own. Like the only syllabus subjects will be there. And then paper 1, section B is Indian government and politics. In India, how these ideas are applied and uh, executed. So, in that chapter number 1 is Indian nationalism, the political strategies of Indian freedom movement, perspectives of Indian national movement. This is the modern India, the modern India syllabus you are having now, complete syllabus is this. And then second chapter is making of the Indian constitution, your Lakshmi Kant stuff. But here, application, Lakshmi Kant, you, you have to be very, very thorough, then only we can come here, okay. Making of the country, British legacy, different social political perspective, the salient features of Indian constitution, and then the principal organs of the union government, that union government, uh, part of I will be, re you will be reading, no, the union government, and then state governments, uh, the state, uh, part 7 of the constitution, and then part 9 of the constitution, this grassroots democracy, Panchayat Raj, and then the all the different types of commissions, that is also in your syllabus, and then federalism, center state relation, so up to 7, two, chapter 2 to 7 is completely polity, politics, Polity, polity, Indian constitution. Okay, chapter 2 to chapter 7. And then chapter 8 to chapter 11 is politics. Using that how things are working in India. For, for example, how planning and economic development is there. This is not all, actually we want to prepare anything actually. Directly what is called planning like that they will be asking. All basic, the school book stuff only. Okay, and then this is real chapter. This we have to discuss in detail. Caste, religion, ethnicity in Indian politics. In India, what elections, how the system is working. Based on caste, religion, ethnicity only, no, they are doing politics. So all this political stuff we will be discussing. Politics we will be discussing. And then how the in India the political parties are there. So that is being given here. And then finally the different different of social movements. What, why social movements are there? See, people are not uh, um, uh, getting something. Or people are aggrieved. People have grievances. They are bringing out the grievances to the public, to the government through some movements, strike, some kind of things, etc. So that is only different, different of movements. So that we will be reading. So it's a matter of just one week or 10 days is there means we can complete the section D. The, provided you are preparing GS side by side. So you, are, you will be attending GS classes. No, with that easily you can handle. Okay, no special attention is required except two, three chapters. Easily we can handle it. And then paper two, section A. Uh, the first uh, uh, four chapters comparative politics okay so the chapter here is equal to chapter one paper one section a chapter one political what is political theory different approaches are there no same thing only same reply same thing only again you will be writing but in uh, plus in addition to that political economy political social per perspectives are there okay and then uh, theories of state will be reading in paper one chapter two same thing only state in comparative politics how states are there in two countries like that we will be reading same thing only. And then politics of representative, the political parties we read now in paper 2, section B, how Indian political parties are there. Like that, how international political parties, pressure groups, social movements are there. Generally, we will be reading. This and all a matter of one day only. One day, you can prepare one, one chapter. That is the total content stuff. And then what is globalization? This and all open ended topic. Uh, how globalization is working in developed and developing society. Okay. First four chapters, one, one per day, one chapter you can complete. Like that only uh, syllabus is there. And then chapter 5 and 6 will take a lot of time. Like we have thinkers and ideologists there. In international relation, these two are the core theory chapters. The different types of political uh, international relation theories. This you have to understand very well. Read slowly, steadily. The approaches to study of international relation. Idealism, realism, Marxism, functionalism and system theory. And then the key concepts in international relation. What are the ideas? What is national interest? What is security? What is power? What is balance of power? What is deterrent? What is transnational actors? What is called collective security? How the world has been 
globalized that means the globalized economy is working world capitalistic economy how things are working so this and all it's a fun actually you have you can you can see any answer is correct answer like that only it will be there you, you have to know the what is that definition what they are coming to say after that you can quote any country any example what you have read in the newspaper and the right mean you'll get the maximum marks and after that chapter 7 7 you have the uh, post world war world history in world history paper itself you will be covering this rise of the super powers non alignment movement collapse of soviet union unipolarity american hegemony relevance of non alignment in uh, today's world all are open ended topic easily you can handle it okay and then this is international this is international uh, economy wto and then the cmea the third world uh, new international economic order globalization so how the rich countries work how the poor countries work how the medium countries work how the uh, uh, globalization is working okay so this uh, this in, in the same chapter you will be reading it in paper gs3 uh, international economics and then un and then about un un envisage role actual role specialized un agencies need for reforms this and all open ended topic and then the different international organizations eu asean apec sarc and nafta and then the global Uh, contemporary global concern what all the problems of the world okay democracy human rights environment gender justice terrorism nuclear proliferation so all these topics are actually essay topics i'll show you a separate another file how it is overlapping with the gss ethics i'll show you and then paper 2 section b is this is uh, our bilateral relation class only nothing new okay so what is called foreign policy determinants of foreign policy institutions of making for uh, make foreign policy making and then non alignment movement india and south asia india and the global south africa and latin america india and the powerful countries the great powers and india and un india and nuclear question and the recent developments in foreign policy so this is our syllabus so syllabus is very compact okay so even you are not taking political science you will be reading most of the syllabus here you have to read it without this you can't go to examination even you are taking chinese literature i am telling you okay so we can't, you can't miss this So like that only things are there. So now I will show you another file. How it is overlapping with political science. If it is in red patches means you are reading it only for political science. Okay, the first two chapters is core political science. You will be reading it main support PSAR only. It will not be useful anywhere. Okay. So uh, political theory and theories of the state. Next uh, uh, this four chapters justice, equality, rights, democracy. the thing is in which is in violet color you have to note that this will be useful for your ethics paper and also essay in essay also social issues they will be asking no based on democracy based on equality based on rights based on what is called justice only you will be uh, uh, questions will be there so if you know this core theory is very well meant you can write a better answer but instead of writing it theoretically in essay and ethics paper what you have to do you have to apply it and then write it that's the only difference but other students what they will do is they want to know this basic core idea what are the different ideas what different different big thinkers are telling they they will not know this without that they will be simply applying it with the general knowledge and then they will do you have a special knowledge on this stuff subject this is theory only but what i am telling is this with this theory if you, if you if you have the essence means you can make the juice you no know, like that you can't drink it uh, the essence essence juice essence means you can't drink it this is the essence you want to serve as a juice to everyone cool drinks means you have to add water all you have to do is add water to this and then write it in essay and ethics the core idea you will be getting it here that's all so i am not telling they will be asking this 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 same topics no this is the base this is the essence the main ingredients is this if you know this very well the second part is easy okay liquidation liquid putting water is very easy you know making the essence only is problem we know the essence other people may not know this we know what different different groups are thinking how uh, whether this will work in india or not where this will work whether this will work in rich country or whether this will work in poor countries everything we will know we will be reading it differently okay so we will segregate it and then we will apply it in each and every society and then they have found out whether it is working or not if it is working means how to make it better not working means how to reform it so all these things you will be reading it here so all you have to do is in essay and ethics you have to apply that that's all this is essay ethics without knowing the core ideas you see ethics paper you don't need a separate class actually if you know these things uh, clearly means 
clear limits. We know the idea means. We get the idea means things are very easy. But you have to understand this. That is important. Just in the 10th, 12th reading. No, not like that. Okay. So getting even people will get 100 marks. But they don't know what is that. Like that you should not do. You should have to understand things. Then things will be easy. We'll, so for these chapters when we are discussing. We won't go like bilateral relation very fastly. So here we can take any amount of time. Even you are asking me to repeat it. I can repeat it. Because this is completely a separate class. They won't control me. Okay. So when the syllabus is When we are completing. That is the day. So there is no restriction. I have to complete now or then. No, no restriction is there. Completely. That, that means. What all you want. I have to provide that. So like that only. Our class will be there. GS means other subjects are there. I have limited number of classes. I have to go very quickly. I have no other choice. Okay. So 10 class means. Maximum I can take one more extra class. That's all. But here. 50 class or 60 class means. You want 80 class or 90 class. We can go. No issue. The thing is. It should reach you. The content reach means. My job is over. Until that we will have class. Okay, and since you are taking batch one, we have the liberty to go up to uh, one, one extra month itself means no problem. But batch two, if you are joining, means it will be difficult. It will clash with your preliminary preparation. Okay, and then the next uh, four chapters, you have to note that uh, 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 this is political science only. But this chapter will be useful for your GS first paper. First paper, this chapter is there. Okay, Indian political thought and Western political thought. Okay, this and all you will be studying it political science secondly. So altogether one, two, three, four, five chapters only you are reading it for political science sake. But don't th think there are only five chapters. It have a content, big content. Content is very big. Okay. So we have to slowly, steadily we have to prepare. Okay. So these chapters and all you can do it in one day. But these chapters, every topic will take one day for me. One day, one topic only I can take it. One, one topic only you can. But for preparing for your preparation, it may take 3-4 days, each and every topic. So that much content is there. Okay, so once you finish 8, 9, 10 minutes, political science literally is over. Like that we can we can finish. Remaining things, quickly we can do it. Okay. And then <coughs> Indian government and politics. These are all GS syllabus. Green, green means GS syllabus. Political strategies of Indian freedom movement is modern India syllabus. Same modern India syllabus. We have to, since 1857 till uh, independence, you have to complete it. Okay, and perspective of Indian national movement is a political science syllabus. Same thing only in liberal perspective, in social perspective, in Marxist perspective, radical Dalit perspective, like that we will be reading. Content is same, but what uh, what different groups thought about and how they contributed to our freedom movement, like that we will be reading. This is political science. Okay, but this you won't be reading it in your history. This you will. This is history syllabus only. And then chapter two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, these are all completely GS syllabus only. Polity and then the economy, planning economy, chapter 3. And then these three are political science only. Okay, caste, religion, ethnicity, the Indian party system, the social movements in India. So, three chapters, three and a half chapters. So, 5 plus 3, 8 and a half chapters, political, out of the 21, 20 chapters, 5 and a half chapters, uh, 8 and a half chapters only, you are reading it only for political science. This is paper 1. In paper 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This Only these 5 chapters will be reading it for political science sake. Paper 2. Comparative politics. State in comparative politics. This is same as paper 1 section. Already I said. Nothing um, much to read in this. Okay. Politics in representation and participation. The approaches in international relation and the key concepts. Only these 5 chapters is the core chapter. Political science syllabus. International relation syllabus. Okay. So chapter 4 is globalization. That is GS syllabus only. This is world history. GS. Again this is uh, international economy. GS. United Nations. GS. International organization. Again GS syllabus. This is essay topic. So what we will do is we will be discussing or uh, we, will be discuss we will have a discussion on each and every topic. And then you prepare in detail about this. For political science and the essay. Like that, like that you have to prepare. One time preparation. Okay. And this chapter is fully GS. This is the bilateral relation. So chapter, paper 2, section B fully is uh, GS syllabus only. Paper 2, section A, except these 5 chapters. Out of 11 chapters, you have to read 5 chapters. So altogether, we have far, uh, nearly 40 chapters. 
Paper 1, 8 and half chapters, you have to read it for political science. Paper 2, 5 chapters. For 12 chapters, 12 to 13 chapters only, you are reading it only for political science. Okay, so remaining, uh, what, do you, what I say, nearly 28 chapters is GS only. GS only. Okay, I will share you this uh, uh, in a group. Okay. Is it clear? Okay, and then the other thing is, uh, what we can, uh, I will show you the question paper also, how the question paper is asked last year. See, I am not telling you can attend now itself. But just by reading the question, question, you may get an idea. If you know that idea means can you answer? How the question complexity is there? Just an idea. You can't, definitely you can't answer. But uh, see, there are eight questions divided into two sections. Candidates have to attempt five questions in all. Together, five into 50 marks you have to attend. Question number one and five are compulsory. Out of the remaining three have to be attended. Choosing at least one question from each section. So two compulsory section, uh, compulsory one and five, you have to write it. Apart from that, you have to write at least one question from each section. You can't write four question and uh, one compulsory question in another paper. 50 marks will be deducted. So you can understand. So first question is feminist critic on state. So in feminism, in uh, theories of state, feminist theories of state is there. How feminism are going against the state? State is controlled by men. Uh, so feminist people will say that state is patriarchy, we have to change it. Like that they will give some criticism. We have to discuss in detail. Okay. And then affirmative action. In equality, there was a chapter, no? In equality, everybody, everything should be equal. But government is giving privileges to the weaker section. So that is affirmative action. Whether affirmative action is against equality or for equality. So that chapter. Okay. And then equality of outcome as a political leader. This is not a walk on in that question actually. Easily you can write it. Political science, this is... This is, a, this is a cake walk for uh, all political science students, all these questions. Tools of legitimization of the state. How state, state, how we will accept state as a legitimate leader. State have to do proper governance. What all the things to, to, for a proper governance is required. That if you write it from your own words, you will get the mark. But one thinker has said something about this. You have to use the thinker and his words. That's the only thing. Otherwise, answer directly, you can write it. When you will accept the central government as your government, the government is helping you in every way, in politically, socially, economically, it has to help the people. What are the steps the government have to take? That is called legitimization of state. If government is doing what you want, means you will accept government as your leader. That is legitimization. And Mill's idea of women's suffrage. So this is not all, you have to read it. Without knowing this, you can't go for essay and ethics paper, women rights. Mill is the number one thinker, feminist. He's supporting women should vote, should get to vote. So what he said, how, uh, how uh, things, uh, people reacted, those things we have to discuss. All are open-ended questions. And then Rawls enriched, how Rawls enriched the idea of justice in liberalism. So Rawls concept of justice, direct question. Examine the importance of behavioral approach in political theory, what led to the decline, the chapter one part. So different, different approaches are there to study a political phenomena. Behavioral approach is one, sub one such approach. Some defects are there. That's, that's why it led to the political theory decline. Very simple. Uh, can there be universal conception of human rights? Give your argument. So open-ended question. All questions are very easy. I am telling these questions are easy level. Easy, diffi intermediate, difficult means all are easy level only questions are there. Explain the Aristotelian view of politics. To what extent do you think that it, will, it has contributed to the development of modern day constitutional democracy? So what you have to do is, you have to read about Aristotle, what Aristotle said about politics and bring that idea and apply it today's concept. Today how the world is there, how the world constitutions are there, where Aristotle said and today's constitution are going in line, like that. And then when nation becomes devoid, devoid of arts and learning, it invites poverty. Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan, he's an Indian thinker. In the light of the statement, assess the role of Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan as a reformer in modern India. Okay, so this is an Indian thinker, very simple. Matter of one hour, one hour you spend a month, Sahir Sahir Markhan is over. And then political ideology is primarily concerned with allocation of allocation and utilization of power. The ideology. What is political ideology they are asking? And then do you think Buddhist tradition have lent greater ethical foundation to the ancient Indian political thought? What is the contribution of Buddhist people to the ancient Indian political thought? That question. Direct question. Marx's concept of alienation is an essential part of reality in capitalism. In capitalism, alienation is, is there. That's why capitalism is bad. Like that, Marx will say. This theory at all, you, you should know 100%. Without knowing Marx, you should not go to the examination. 
So like that important topic. Okay, so you can't miss this. So definitely people will write it. Free and fair deliberation is the key to the foundation of democracy. Deliberation means discussion. So for a democracy, free, free and fair discussion is required. Not an open question. But openly you can write it. Now itself you can write it. But you have to use the thinkers. And the thinker, what the keyword the thinker is using. That and all you have to use it. Then only you will get the maximum marks. Otherwise, generally you can write it. All the things. If you know means you can write it. But politically writing means you have to use the thinkers and their keywords. The terms, the terminology used as per the thinker. That you have to do it. And then section B. This is completely GS. In GS and all, take the GS take the GS uh, uh, polity, uh, the, uh, that means uh, constitution, that, that GS2 paper is there, no? Uh, so 78 question or 10 question will come. You have to know that it will be tough. But these questions are straightforward questions. Straightforward. But you have to write well. That is important, okay? Straightforward question means everybody will attend. That's the problem. If everybody is doing the particular thing, means you have to do the particular thing better. Then only you can edge over others in, the, in terms of marks. The constitution of India is a product of historical process. This, this, this is not all old, uh, old uh, things, okay? So this is not at all, uh, that means static part only. The introduction to constitution is there, no? From that only they are asking. The constitution maker faced the greater task of forging a common national identity uh, in the face of unparalleled social and cultural diversity. This is not all, no, you won't read it actually. From your own knowledge, you have to write it. Like that only things will be there. Mention the founding principle to, uh, that define Indian constitution. Is, under, is there any preparation required for this? Any, any option student will write this, this, this questions. Okay. Analyze the Marxist perspective of Indian national movement. So this we have to read it. And then underline the significance of first constitutional amendment. They are asking about first constitutional amendment directly. What is the importance? They, uh, uh, they only introduced Schedule 9, uh, right to property. The, regarding that and all, they did something. Like that you have to write it. Okay. What is constitution number 1? Amendment number one that they are asking. And then here you see constitutionally reconciling fundamental rights with the DPSP has led to frequent amendments in the constitution and judicial intervention. Come on. So this is regarding fundamental rights versus DPSP. Both are rights. One is justiciable, another one is non-justiciable. Which is greater, which is bigger. Like that one argument is there. That argument they are asking. Is easy, easy question only. The role of President of India becomes significant during minority government and, and a coalition government. Okay, what are the special powers of President? They are asking. Direct question. Do you think that despite having significant limitation of Panchayat Raj institution, uh, limitation, the Panchayat Raj institution have strengthened the process of democratic decentralization. That means power is been evenly distributed in the, in the society. State government, central government. And now, people are also uh, having power no, through Panchayat Raj system. They are asking this. This is all open-ended. For that and all, you won't prepare anything actually. With the reserve knowledge only, you have to write this. Okay. The Indian party system is shaped by complex interaction of countries, federal structure, electoral, uh, electoral system, and social cleavages. How Indian political parties are there. National party, regional party, caste-based party, language-based party, race-based party. That if you know means you can write this answer. And do you think that there is there has been a gradual shift in the basis on which the demand for the creation of new states have risen in different regions? Okay, so that means earlier people were asking for a separate state for different reason in the name of language. Now people in the name of development they are asking for a separate state. For example, Telangana they said that in Andhra Pradesh Telangana region is not that much developed, so we should become a separate uh, separate state. So that they are asking earlier and all in the name of language they they divided the states. Now, in the name of development, they are asking for separate state. Or in the name of identity, Nagalim, the identity, the ethnic group identity, they are asking separate state. So that they are asking. Another easy question, sir. Okay. What explains India's modest improvement in the socio development outcome, even as the rate of growth has accelerated since the initiation of economic reform? So after 1991, after LPG policy, the economic growth rate is growing up. But the modest improvement is there in the social development. Why? So that means this, this is because, because that only the, because of the LPG, the rich people are getting more benefit. Middle class are getting benefit, but rich people benefit more than what the poor people are getting from that uh, LPG policy. So that, that they are asking. Very simple. Sir, open-ended. This and all you won't read anywhere. 
okay newspaper reading general idea you easily you can write it this and all preparation is not required that's what i am telling for this specially what we have to prepare no only one 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 uh, one question only needs preparation analyze the marxist perspective this you have to prepare otherwise you can't touch it all the other questions and all you have to note that you have to write directly only and last three question the success of electoral democracy can partly be attributed to the status and role of election commission the importance of election commission they are asking then election commission is working well means democracy is working well like that they are telling examine the evolution of jurisdiction of the supreme court of india as a constitutional court they are asking about the jurisdiction the powers of supreme court particularly the jurisdiction the jurisdiction of supreme court they are asking okay this and all we have to prepare you, you can't escape otherwise in gs you will get into trouble last question is explain how caste as a social category is also becoming a political category in democratic politics so caste is a social thing but now it the caste system is becoming political also and they are asking this okay now in the name of caste what we are earlier socially socially we people were divided but now politically also we people were divided based on caste line caste based political party that they are asking so questions are easy only no so that means if, you, if these things we can prepare once you have a holistic approach but uh, here also you have to note that questions are literally direct only last three years direct questions only direct questions means easily you can score it all you know uh, you have to do is you have to know the concept well if you know the concept well means you can give a answer okay and then let's take paper 2 discuss the political economic approach to the comparative analysis direct question they are asking what is political economic approach and then political parties and pressure groups are sine qua non on of that means they are necessary for a democracy they are asking so this is a direct question but here you have to, there you wrote in uh, with respect to indian political party here generally for the world country democracy means political parties and pressure groups are important the world political parties and pressure groups that's all Marx's approach to the study of internationalization has lost its relevance in post cold war era so the internationalization theory i said no this you have to we have to discuss detail slowly uh, what are the measures undertaken by un on its reform this and all school children uh, questions uh, and then discuss five proposals made by india in the region cop 26 conference in glasgow last year climate change conference was there what uh, india proposed they are asking this and all current affairs purely current affairs question and then post colonial state is a thought of entity that stood outside and above the society as a autonomous agency this is a post colonial state theory they are asking okay you have to read it discuss the emergence of neo liberal uh, realism and its basic tenets direct question what is complex interdependence this is also direct question this is a concept concept based questions discuss the role of transnational actors in international relation and then e explain the impact of electoral system and cleavages in shaping party system with reference to the developing country in developing country, developing countries how electoral systems are there how people are divided political parties are divided they are asking this what is globalization why there is a intense debate about globalization and its consequences the north to south divide that you have to explain under development developed that uh, because of globalization that you have to explain critically examine the decline of us uh, united states of america as a hegemon and its implication for the changing international political order unipolarity to multipolarity they are asking this and then the modernization thesis asserts that affluence breeds stable democracy how do you explain the success of india being a world largest democracy so that democracy concept was there no in the last chapter so that they are asking okay so modernization means it, it will lead to democracy it is good for democracy so how this modernization is making india a world largest democracy how it is working in india that they are asking here explain the success of asian as a regional organization direct question explain india's relationship with european union in context of brexit all are this two are current affairs based question this is current affairs based question and this is also current affairs question pure direct current affairs question okay you won't read this in any book any political science book in newspaper only you will be reading it so easily you can do it and then coming to the india and the world discuss the strategic implication of india's lookist policy transforming into actist from lookist to actist we are going no how far india asian relationship is there india japan relation is there yesterday the japanese prime minister is killed that guy is a close friend of india shinzo abe is a very close ally of india big, really it is a big loss for india i 
when i read the news i got shocked so one of our friend is gone because he helped india in many ways actually directly okay anyway explain the philosophical foundation of indian foreign policy explain india's position regarding intellectual property rights in covid 19 vaccine in wto current affairs based Go growing influence of quad current affairs how does the recent takeover of afghan by taliban impact india's strategic interest in newspaper directly easily you can write it question is direct and the non alignment was little more than a rational strategy on the part of materially weak india to maximize interest in bipolar distribution of global global power it is little more than a rational strategy that means here afterwards we should not depend upon non alignment we have to go beyond that because non alignment is not going to help india because india is also materially non alignment countries cannot contribute anything to india because non alignment countries are the third world countries so what they are asking is in this we have to go and i mean have relation with us and other superpowers and economically get benefit with non alignment we are not going to get any benefit the question is non alignment movement means third world countries with the third with a group in third world countries we are we are materially weak so what india should do us us uh, russia like that world is divided no what india have to do like that they are asking you can write it examine the geo strategic points of contention in bilateral relationship between india and china geo strategic geo means geographically strategic points where and all we are having problem with uh, china because of that how the relationship is there between india and china that we have to discuss write a brief analysis of the ethnic conflicts and border uh, cross border migration along india myanmar india bangladesh border the rohingya and uh, the uh, bangladeshi uh, illegal migrant that problem they are asking we will we, we will discuss that in the class why south asia is considered as the world's politically and economically least integrated region south asia because all our neighbors are politically economically unstable that's why india india is having a big population unstable neighbors that's why the entire south asia is politically and economically weak this is what are they are asking about uh, the failures of the, the reason for failures of sark okay directly you can write it how do the constituent states influence the foreign policy making process in india okay how that means how states uh, influence the foreign policy making tamil nadu with respect to sri lanka uh, west bengal with respect to bangladesh jammu kashmir with respect to uh, uh, pakistan that you have to explain very simple Ex examine examine not examiner examine the evolution of india's role in global nuclear order this and all in bilateral we will discuss okay and the relation between india and russia are rooted in history mutual trust and mutual benefit co beneficial cooperation direct question discuss the sustainable development goals as set by un identify the drivers of india's new interest in africa so nothing is complicated in this paper not even one question is complicated two three questions are in intermediate level majority questions are in the easy level only easily we can handle this question so this is what i am telling okay and then the other thing i wanted to tell you is um, okay how classes will be there so in bilateral relation i just put slides and then i discuss and then quickly i will finish the topic and then i am actually running actually but since bilateral relation people will read it in newspaper people can manage that but in political sense we can't do that if i am doing like that means i will finish the class within 3 4 weeks and then i will i will wind up that much only content is there but every content we have one content one, one idea means we have to discuss only one in one day only one day one idea and how how we can think uh, how what are all the uh, other comments will coming into into our mind like that we have to think on that particular idea discuss on that idea so i will go very slowly only the bilateral relation means i am going in 100 km fast means political science particularly the international relation theory i will go in 10 percentage fast only slowly only i will go okay so classes will be there so how you have to read means attend the class regularly particularly the theory classes and all for that only you are in this class this remaining uh, india and the world uh, polity that and all class is not at all required that is the understanding even without the help you can you help yourself that's what i am telling but for the theories you need help so don't miss the class attend the class in the class i will dictate notes also while dictating notes i will explain okay slowly steadily one by one line by line concept by concept uh, uh, that means class by class we will deal it okay after that for uh, important topics i will give you some uh, detailed written notes <coughs> so already i am having some notes 
but uh, not for all topics so this time since we are having only in the weekend so weekdays i have time so i will write the topics detailedly and then i will give you so after attending the class you immediately what you do is you have to go home and then immediately read the class notes what what is what you have written in the note that you immediately daily immediately uh, in the day itself you do it and after that what you can do is i will give you that uh, written notes also that written detail notes that also you go through after that you can go for any book the prescribed list book i have given no that book you can go that instead of directly going there so first class listen to the class and then go and read the class notes the the, the crux of the notes okay and then read my detailed notes and then go for the detailed book okay so like this we will go okay and another thing is um so what i have is done is for 20 last year students um the people who are, who are going to write for 2022 mains examination this year they are going to write no for that i have a test batch one since they have only 3 months it will be a a hurry berry test batch okay only 8 to 9 test only is there because only 9 and 10 weeks only is there between preliminary and mains so there i have put full syllabus so people who are going to write for 2022 examination they are writing that batch one in the website it is available okay just to go and check it batch one test syllabus next year after preliminary you want to write a test means so that syllabus will be similar to that only okay but for majority people did not clear the preliminary no so for them to help them to prepare for 2023 examination i have gone for batch 2 test test batch 2 okay which will start in august 18th and it will be completed in january first week so i have gone for a very detailed uh, test batch so nowhere it is available like this okay so i have to put enormous effort in this so i have divided the test batch into 16 parts our syllabus into 16 parts okay and the same test batch only I, I, it is there in your uh, in the, for you also so what i am going to do is i am going to give this test batch for free for you okay utilize this if you utilize this means next year definitely i am telling you will be ready for examination you will be the top one of the top uh, contender like the, your seniors because otherwise what happens is this year what i felt why i have uh, made this for you means last year i did not do this like this i have given after the complete uh, syllabus uh, I, i one month i gave full revision for them five test but now the people who cleared the preliminary examination they are not fully ready like the seniors so they thought that we did not have much time to write because after that they started preliminary examination preparation they did not do that so that's why i am going for this program so so class class in class also daily you will be writing questions that is regular apart from that normally some five to six tests only will be there for uh, earlier and on so for this time you have 25 test actually a detailed test syllabus the same syllabus i have given for past year students they are going to write along with you only okay so you have to note that you have st1 means sectional test 1 rt1 means revision test in page number 4 you take see for example uh, normally i will start with western political thinker only so plato aristotle machiavelli and then two ideologies liberalism socialism marxism this will be your first test on august 8 18th and then second test will be next every thursday test will be there after that from august 18th day every week thursday you have test okay western political thought the remaining part after completing a considerable syllabus what i have done is i have gone for a revision test the test 1 section test 1 section 2 will be in revision test 1 so this is one one area okay one area is over then section test 3 4 5 then one revision test whenever i have completed one particular area i have keep a test okay so you can write this test regularly okay so to, uh, totally 16 part test five revision test and then four full test will be there paper one paper two paper one paper two so two into two test four test will be there so if you stick to this means i think so you have to make use of this i have said no the bonus point see in a video game you are running uh, car races that if you take the bonus point means you will get uh, some addition benefit if you are not taking the bonus point means you are losing the game that's all so you have to take this okay so uh, so the test portions also very very small only i have i have say, i have i have uh, thinking in students point of view only 
So how much student can prepare in one week? Think like that only I have put this particular timetable. So what I'm telling is you, you people utilize this test very well and then complete the syllabus. Actually, this is an answer writing program. So mains answer writing program, a separate uh, program that, that this uh, for first time I am including in this for the regular batch also. Okay. Second batch students will not get this because they don't have time for this. So we have to complete the syllabus after that they will going for preparing for preliminary examination. Preliminary time will start. Okay. So we, first batch only will have this. Okay, second batch, I don't know what to do. I, I have to think. I have to, uh, this the, uh, free release every week, small, small syllabus we are writing, no? Like that, they can't do it. So, if you have a plan to join PSC Armin, join in the first batch itself. That will be better, in my opinion. And come directly. Join as a full time student, okay? Instead of uh, putting it in a online. Okay, directly come. Then only you can. And then for every test, every sectional test, you have a orientation class also. Orientation. This is this is the extra thing. No other no other institute they are giving it. Okay. Orientation class means section one test 18th. We have test on Thursday. Mostly on Monday evening, you will have orientation class. I will discuss the summary of the topics and then we will discuss the different questions in the topic. Okay, that that and all will not be given as video. It will not be posted in video. You have to come here and attend, or online students means they can attend live. If you miss means you have missed that's all because for this i have to take double i have i am putting double or triple the work actually this time for you batch okay so utilize this okay so uh, actually this is my dream work so this is what if i have if i have done this 80 percentage uh, is if it is reaching immense it will be a grand success next year 2023 all my first time story you are writing first time no you will be ready for examination so that orientation class is there on Monday, mostly on Monday, I have not decided, but mostly it, I think it will be on Monday. Thursday, you will have test. Friday, you have free. Saturday, Sunday, you have class. So, uh, suppose if I am not able to complete the syllabus, means Friday also you will have class. So what I am telling is you have to allocate your time for political science. People are working means what you can do is you, test means you can write anytime, no problem. You can send it to me later, no issue. But you have to come here and write. That will be the best okay uh, 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 test discussion and test and all will be at six o'clock only okay if even people are working means you are working no you are working six o'clock is it okay okay six or even you can start by six thirty test means class will start by six o'clock or even we can have it by six thirty so that the working students also will come and join six thirty to eight like that we will have Okay, that uh, orientation class, I will give you the crux of the, I am not going to teach you again, Plato, Aristotle, Machiavelli means what they said, the crux, the summary of that, and then I will be giving the, uh, discussing for this question how to answer, how, for this question how to answer, I will discuss all the questions. Same topic, different, two, three questions will come, for all the three questions you should not go for, right, in the same format. Content is same, presentation should be differing, okay, that you have to do, okay, so make use of this. So this, uh, this I want to tell you, okay. So you have to note that during the class also, you will be given uh, questions to write. One question or two question only, okay. So that, that, that test is to improve yourself and then make you to come in line to writing. This is the test. Test will be this only. The other test is daily class. Whenever you are coming to the class, I will be asking you to write one question, particular question. That is meant to make you feel free to write an answer for that purpose. Whether you have, for example, I, if I am teaching Rawls theory of justice means, I may ask you to write about, give a question and then write about that. What I will be checking is, I won't check about the presentation. I will be checking whether you have understood the topic. For that, daily small one question, two question test daily will be there. Whenever you are coming to the class, test will be there. That is what regularly I do. And I will keep five, six test. But this time, 25 test altogether. So until Pongal, you have you have to uh, allocate your time for political science. And while preparing for political science, the political science overlapping GS subjects are there, no? That you have to complete fully. Fully you complete it. In main preliminary point of view, whatever it is, you have to complete it fully. So that by after Pongal, when you start preliminary examination, by the remainder of political science, you have to pack it up. That's all. Political science, after that, you can't do anything. So after Pongal, what you have to do, you have to take the GS preliminary syllabus. 
while doing that for example in this subject polity will be covered modern india will be covered international organization will be covered for mains bilateral relation also will be covered so these subjects you have it in your hand mains what are the remaining subjects geography environment science and technology economics world economy also you will be reading it here that national economy only indian economy only will be reading okay four five subjects only that you can handle after january okay like that you go in g r what you do is if they are having economic class now during political science time means in gs you read the class notes alone no need to go for further reading that can wait after january but polity class bilateral relation class international uh, organization class or international economic class if they are taking anything in gs means you have to go in detail you have to prepare that very well so complete the gs psar uh, overlapping subjects while preparing for psar itself because two third of the time now you have to allocate now so classes will be there until uh, november end or december after that you can allocate full, uh, full entire time for gs two three subjects will be there in your hand two subject is in your hand means you can clear preliminary provided other subjects you can able to manage it two subjects you have to bring it under your control other subjects you have to make up means you will clear the exam but normally what people will do is people will not hold any of the subject during the last week of the examination what our thinking will be i will tell you if i am good in two subjects means i can easily clear this preliminary like that only you will think the two subjects for you is polity and modern india for mains bilateral relation is also there um, polity modern india international organization and international economy wto world bank imf uh, th these things these things you should have to be very good very very good what all news comes immediately read it uh, know what all the things going on what all the terms you come to me ask me and then you prepare and prepare it thoroughly then only my plan will work otherwise what all gsp in class they are telling you do it so doing it means you won't allocate two third of the time for psar for psar you don't have any other time to prepare now is the time after january you can't touch this paper okay after january after preliminary if without having a good clear clarity over political science or whatever option subject you are you will not clear the preliminary Ma mains if you are not good in option paper mains next year mains examination definitely you won't clear but gs paper you can manage damage control we have three papers are there plus ethics even you are not doing one particular paper well you can manage it in other papers but in political science if you are leaving one question wrong means it will that means you will feel very bad whatever subject it is not only just for political science in option paper you can't even leave 10 mark question one 10 mark question is gone means we will be severely damaged no you can't control the damage the damage control cannot be done the damage is done that means damage is one year is gone literally because in option paper you have to edge over all other students all other students you have to edge over all other students you have no other choice you have no other choice okay gs paper maybe you may be good in economy i may be good in history so we can balance it all students will not be good in everything they will be good in certain papers certain papers they will, they know how to manage it they, are, they will become the toppers. So like that you can go. So GS is not at all a problem. Option problem means nothing. Zero. Zero, zero result. GS problem means we can do something. So GS syllabus, is, which, 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 which subject is GS friendly syllabus? Our paper only. So utilize this. This bonus point, you take it. You take it means you can do well. So this test batch is the specialty. You know, in our program, this year only I am doing it. Last year and all I did not do that. Okay, this year only I am doing this. So utilize this so because separately you have an answer writing. This is an answer writing program. This is not a test batch actually. Test batch is immediately after the preliminary, the three months for 2022 only. The first batch is a test batch. Second batch is the, this time only I have put the second batch. The answer writing program. A special answer writing program. So other students, my previous students also will come and write. Okay, you also write it. Okay. It's up to you. It's actually an option. Option means option, but I'm making it compulsory. You do it. Then only next year you will be ready for examination. If you are good in one subject means you will clear the examination. Because that can't be, see, uh, see for example, now uh, July, last, next week you are going to start the class. Okay, I have put this syllabus such that it won't clash with the test date. That means before the test syllabus, 
the portions will be over so this test starts in august 18th only okay we are starting the class in june 16th okay because first chapter it will take time okay that western political thought it will take lot of time for me okay so when you are coming to the third test and all what we have uh, what we have discussing in the last three or two weeks will be in the text in the next week third week third week it will be the test so like that it will be there okay so i think uh, for putting this time table i put, i took enormous about uh, i took two three days okay I, I, you may ask why uh, why that much complex is because i have to think in students point of view how much they can prepare in one particular week first time us first time us means one particular week after attending the class and then i have to complete the syllabus within time also so like that i have managed to put, to put like this you just to utilize this thing just to come and write it Qu question answer discussion that is also there write the test and then attend the discussion and then go this will be on every thursday uh, sorry every uh, wednesday wednesday sorry wednesday every wednesday this test will be there it is on wednesday i think and this is on wednesday check it check in the time table when is 18th 1880 is coming august 18th wednesday or thursday thursday every thursday we have test so thursday you will be writing the test and friday uh, friday maybe extra classes will be there we will have it by 6:30 6:30 to 8 one uh, so suppose we are not able to cover the syllabus means then the test portions will get affected no so for that purpose so saturday sunday 9 to 1:30 we will have class 9 to 1 we will have class saturday sunday okay friday you may have class you may that depends upon Uh, the syllabus how how far we are completing the syllabus we are going in lines with the test syllabus or not so that i will because if i am keeping you separately means then i need separate uh, answer discussion day also separate class is also required it will be difficult okay and then every uh, thursday we have test even you are not able to come here you write it wherever you are even you are in mars you write there i am telling okay but don't miss this test okay but better come and write here that will be good then only you will stick to the time you will you will write in examination mode if you are not able to come means no harm if you are you have to travel long means uh, evening time and all it will be difficult to travel okay so it is not uh, self you see, because you that means self dis discipline is required that's all you have to do it by yourself online people i will tell you if uh, people are joining online means uh, you may be missing lot of things but anyway uh you can write the test and then you can send it to me we will make some arrangement okay um monday you attend the orientation class that class will not be given as video but class classes and all will be available for in the video portal i think for some time okay class if you uh, saturday sunday class that means if you miss the class means you will have an opportunity to see the class in video but this orientation class which is going to be on monday will not be available on video okay so you, why i am doing this because people will be very comfortably will be doing it in the home sleeping and then they will doing i don't want because i am going to put enormous effort okay so so you have to note that it is very beneficial for all the students for previous year students also okay so make use of that and then what we will do is um if you want i will take a small concept so just for a feel okay we'll take the most toughest concept on concept the opening chapter of the our uh, bilateral class plato from plato i will take a one tough uh, one idea okay and after that we'll have the question answer if you have any questions means you ask me okay take just i will take just 15 minutes to explain a one complex topic okay this is the most complex one in our political science okay uh, if you know this means uh, if you can understand this means everything is easy and things will not be as complex as what we are discussing now that also i am telling don't think that everything will be like this means how we can write no okay so we are going to discuss one idea okay so the idea will be awkward idea whether you can take it or not whether you are getting convinced after my class yes this statement is correct means then you are ready for exam i mean political science sometimes some thinkers will say something we may not able how we can take this like that we will think so we want to understand that so we should not do like that okay you have to put yourself in his shoes and then think and then and then uh, try to bring that particular idea then only you can understand that particular idea 
Why that particular? So because uh, in olden days Aristotle is telling slaves are required. Immediately you will ask her, how come we accept, accept slaves? Like that we have an argument. That's why. And then after that, what will happen is we won't accept our, uh, what all Aristotle is telling. Because we know that what uh, Aristotle slave concept is bad means uh, Aristotle itself is bad. He's not, but he is the father of our political science. Okay, so he have never said anything wrong. But he has said something on that particular day, on that particular time and place in Greece. That idea is correct idea. What is today, what today is correct, maybe tomorrow it will become wrong. Earlier they said that the earth is flat. Copernicus, he said that earth is no, earth is spherical. People throw stones at him and then killed him because of this. Later only world came to know that what Copernicus said was only correct. What happened to Galileo? Galileo said that earth is not the center of the universe. Sun is the center of the universe. But in the religious text, what happened is? Earth is the center of the universe in Bible. Okay, so what happened is they took him to the Pope and then they were beating him. Galileo. Tell that earth is in the center of the earth. Because the problem is if what Galileo said is correct means and he has proved that means. That means what has written in the Bible one statement is wrong means. Then you can question all other statements also. Can understand. That's why religious testaments nobody will question. So they were beating him. And, 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 and all the people around him, the fathers, they also said, see, we also know that, okay, we accept your idea. We also accept that earth is the, earth is not the center of the universe. But we can't accept that because they will question the Bible itself after that. Because in Bible, it is something, it is written like that. Okay, if they are going against one idea, means what, the, what they will do? They will question all other things which is said in the Bible. So this will create a lot of problems in the religion. So don't, we know that what you are telling is correct. Why can't you just today for today's sake accept this that earth is the center of the earth and then why can't you stop getting the beating like that they said. Galileo said that how can I tell lies. Bible also said that lies should not be told. And then finally what he did is he said that finally he shouted and said earth is the center of the universe and slowly he said I am telling a lie. And then he was released. Galileo. This is Galileo's story. So, so what I'm telling is, today what we think may be correct. Maybe after 100 years, what we think today may not be correct. Earlier in India, caste discrimination, uh, uh, different caste people are there, okay? Grade and inequality was there. To some extent, on that particular day, that may be needed or necessary or not necessary. I'm not getting into the question. On the day, they, they had this idea. Today, we completely reject that particular idea, grade and inequality. Inequality is there, but this caste-based inequality, we, we won't accept. Okay, so that's why I'm telling the idea will change. But on the day, the thinkers are telling something. Why he said like that? What? Like that you objectively don't question him. You have to go and sit in his place. As an Aristotle, you have to think means what he said is correct. Like that, like that you are. So in the class also, sometimes what happens is when I am discussing a particular concept, I will become their side. I will go to their side and then I will talk like that. For example, feminist means I have, as a feminist, I will talk. Next day, tomorrow, conservative, I am teaching means as a conservative, I will, I will discuss. So like that, then only teaching also will be easy, understanding also will be easy. So when we are, when we are discussing feminism means become a feminist. Think in feminist point of view. If you are going to discussing Marxist point of view means become a communist. That will be better on the day. To, for, like that, if you can take the idea means things will be easy. Understanding will be easy. Then after that, relating each and every concept will become very, very easy. If you are good, only when you can relate all these ideas with each other. That will take time. Okay, easy level, intermediate level, expert level means, then only you can inter first, first linearly let us follow the syllabus and complete the syllabus, know what are all, all the concepts. After knowing this, after that you can link each and every concept. Okay, that is second part. Okay, in the class since we are going very slow, we can, uh, we can, we'll handle all these things. Wherever there is a tough issue is going or substantial issue we are discussing, I will slow down. Wherever easy things are there, I will go a little faster. So like that, I will manage. So you can also stop me. Okay, so in a bilateral class, that may not be possible. But here, it is possible. Okay, because I will, I, even you ask me to come on another day, sir, tell me means I will come. Because all weekday evening, I am free only. Okay, so, so here we are completely flexible. That's what I am telling Class is completely flexible. So depending upon your needs, I have to go. There, 
other subjects are there. So I have to consider other subjects in bio, GS. So bilateral relation, I have to go a little faster. So today what we will do is, we will, we will discuss one, one particular idea in Plato. So uh, in Plato, Plato's all ideas starts in this through two statements. One is, ideal is real. Ideal is real. Okay. This is statement number one. All Plato's idea which we are going to discuss in the class is based on, is coming from, where, where is the root? This is the root. A knowledge is virtue. Virtue means a character, good character. So when you are, we will become a good person, we have knowledge. So this is what Plato is telling. So second statement is we can accept. Am I right? Okay. So when you will be a good person, when you know what is good and what is wrong, when you know, when you have good knowledge means, then you are a good person. So, so if you get knowledge means you will be a virtuous person. Knowledge is virtue. So this statement is not a problem. But what is ideal is real. What is ideal? What is real? What is duplicate? So for this, Plato is going for an idea. So this uh, Plato, he starts with a particular idea called the idea of forms. Idea of forms. Form. Form. Okay. So he's telling that. What uh, Plato is telling is, what we see, feel uh, in this earth, we, you know, in our sense, we can, we can find something, no? All these things are duplicates or false things. Like that he's telling. So in layman words I'm using, okay? I'm not using any technical words. So in idea of form, he's telling the form what we can see in this uh, earth. The, the, in earth, mother earth, we are seeing you no know, tree, uh, a chair, uh, a human being, a computer, uh, a table, an animal, a dog, whatever it is. These are not original. These are not real. What is real is, he is telling an abstract world. He is telling, he is going for an abstract world. That abstract world, where, where see, the, this is a physical world. In, where is physical world? The, in, the, in the universe, the solar system, in the sun as a center, earth is there. This is the, this is the physical world. What we see, what, what all the things we are having it in this, this uh, physical world is not real. So this is a chair, this is a chair, this chair is not a real chair. This is what Arist uh, uh, Plato is telling. This is what Plato is telling. What is a real chair means? He is telling the chair which is available in the, up the abstract, that means the real world, that is ideal world, is the original chair. Where is that original world is there? It is inside our head. Or it is an utopian world. Utopian means, utopian, what is called utopian? Imaginary world. Heaven. Heaven is an imaginary world. So there, one chair is there, no? How, how, where is heaven? Heaven is in our thoughts only. So what we think is only real. What we feel is not real. Like this, this Aristotle, I mean, Plato is telling. Why he is going for this idea means an interesting story is there. See, who is uh, Plato? He is a Greek philosopher. Uh, that uh, we know. Who is Plato? For the other people associated with Plato. Who is Plato's teacher? Socrates. See, according to the Greek people, the Greek people are the most proudest people in the world. They think that they are the center of the world. Greek is the center of the world. Like that they think. That means Greek, Greeks are the number one people in the world. Like that the Greeks people were thinking. And according to Plato, Greek is the, super, the, the, the superior people in the world. And among the superior Greek, uh, Socrates is number one. Socrates is number one. This is what this guy is thinking. He is thinking very good about, having very good opinion over his teacher. This Socrates is a common man. But Plato belongs to a rich family, an aristocrat family, a royal family. Royal family means nobles. One day what happened is, this uh, Socrates was teaching his students, no? He asked his students to ask questions. Why? What? How? You ask the question. Reason. So he only, because you have to note that during that time in Greece, you have to note that a democratic government was ruling the country. A democratic government. So democratic government means they will do scams, you know. They will do something irrelevant. They will do something for them. They will put rules. They will rule the country for themselves. Like that only democracy leaders are there. So what happened is, this, since this uh, Socrates was telling all his students to ask questions, what, why have reason, tell me the reason. You are, you are asking me to pay the tax, means why I have to pay? Pay the tax, but ask why you are paying the tax. 
where this money is going. Like that, you ask a question. Like that, Socrates muttered the young population. So ultimately, what I, so he is a man with reason, no? Because he he is telling superiority with reason. That guy. So what Socrates did is when he taught the st his students like that, the students began to ask questions on the rulers itself. The rulers went angry. And who asked these people to ask this question? How these people know how to ask question means they found that Socrates was the culprit. They brought him and then they killed him. They asked Socrates to consume poison and Socrates died. He was killed actually in the court. They blamed him that you are creating a riot against the government by asking the people to ask question against the government. So you should not live, drink poison. Like that he drank poison and then he died. Okay, Socrates. This incident, this incident deeply affected Plato. See, how come these people can kill Socrates? Because according to uh, Plato, what he was telling, he was telling that, he was thinking that Greek people were the number one people in the world. And among the number one people, group of people, who is number one among the number one? Socrates. If I am the number one guy in India, means what government of India have to do? They have to utilize my service. And see, somebody is, see, I am a king. If I found that somebody is fighting very well, means what the king will do? King should not fight with him. King, king should include him in his army. And then make his army stronger and utilize his service for the welfare of the people. This is what the government have to do. But how these people were killing this, uh, my teacher? Like that he went very angry with the government people and then he found that this democracy is not good. We have to find the best form of government. The democracy is a government which is available in this earth. So this is Sandolf, this is duplicate, this is not good. Like that he came to an understanding. So what is a good government? Ideal government is the good government. Where is ideal government? It is in his thought. So whatever he is doing, ideal is the correct one. What we see, feel in the physical world is, is a, uh, what is a, a duplicate one. Duplicate one means, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, duplicate one means in the sense, a duplicate also sometimes may be as good as original. Duplicate means the perverted form. Perverted form means the wrong one or uh, the deformed one. It is not a correct idea, best idea. So always we have to go for the best idea. So that's why he said that he is telling what we see in this world is always false. It is not uh, correct. Okay, so only everything is correct only in the imaginary world. That is ideal world. Ideal world means imaginary world. This is physical, yeah, mother earth. Another earth is there. In the, in, the, in the imagination. That, that earth only is called the ideal, another world. That world is ideal world. What all are present in the ideal world is the real one. Can you accept this? What you see is not correct. What you imagine is only correct. This is what Arist I mean, Plato is telling. Can you go with this idea? No. Actually, what we see is only original. What we imagine is not correct. This is what we feel. But he is explaining. Okay. One alien is coming from some other planet. Okay. And uh, it is seeing me that I am sitting in this chair. That alien has never seen a chair. And alien is asking, what is this? I am telling, this is a chair. Okay, I am telling to the alien. That means the alien, what it is going to do is, it is going to read about this thing, measure everything. And then it is going to take this chair to its world. And then it is going to produce chair and sell it to its people. Suppose I am telling that this is a chair means, what alien will think? Chair means it should be in black color. It should have a net. It should have a handle. It should have a roller. It should have that adjustment. Then what is this? This is another chair. So if I am telling this is the chair, this is, the this is not the original one. This is a copy of a chair. This is one version of the chair. Another version of chair is like this. Another version of chair is a rocking chair. Easy chair. So what we see in this earth is, the image only, that means the shadow of the original, not the original. This is not an original chair. This is a type of chair, a shadow of the chair, not the original one. Am I right? What is the original chair which is available in the ideal state? Chair is a device to sit and rest. That is a chair because uh, thousand years before the type of chair, what we see is completely different. After thousands of years, what will happen? The chair will differ. Or I can say this is a chair meant, if we, this, uh, Plato is telling this is a uh, this is a shadow of the original, not the real one. Real one will never change it. Am I right? Real, if something is real means, real will never change it. But see, this chair, after 10 years, what it will happen? It will get broken. Or the color may get fade. 
After that, you may not, if it is broken, means you won't say that this is a chair. This is some broken item. Then how, how a real thing will go in a different way? So you can understand. So what he is telling is, what we see in this earth is only the shadow of the original, not the original. The original is available only in the utopian world, the ideal world. That is correct. Okay, so if you are calling something as a dog means, so I am bringing a doberman. Alien is telling, what is this? I am telling it is a dog and a faithful animal, a friend of a man, the best friend of man. The alien will think that dog means it should look like Doberman. Tomorrow I am bringing a Great Dane or an Alsatian dog or a, a Golden Retriever or a mongrel, a local street dog. This is also dog, Bomerian dog. See, the original idea of what is dog will never change. But this, what we see in this earth will change. I am right. This is what he is telling. That's why he is telling what we see in this earth, we should not believe in that. You should not, you should not copy this and then, see this is uh, how many, for example, in class, schools and all, we will copy. In the examination, we will copy, no? The first guy, what he will do is, he will write originally. On seeing his paper, the second guy will write. The first guy is writing 10 points, man. second guy will write only 8 points. He can copy only 8 points. The third guy is copying the second guy, means what will happen? He will, he can get the only 5 points only. So, uh, like this, 10 people are writing, the 10th people write 10 points, which is not at all related to this guy, what this first guy is doing. You can understand? That's why you have to, we have to follow the original only. From the original, you have to copy. Not from the copy, you should not take a copy. Something like taking a Xerox copy from an original is different from taking a Xerox copy from a, another copy. So, that's why always go for the original. What we see in this world is shadow of the original. Don't follow that. Okay. I will tell you one more example. You are seeing a picture, a, a picture, Diamond C picture. If you see the picture, it's oh, very nicely drawn. It is very nicely. It is looking very pleasant, like that we will say. After 10 years, it will get fade away. After 10 years, it will get fade away. So he has drawn a, a big a natural a forest environment. Man. It, it will look very nice. But after 10 years, the picture may fade away, color may fade away. After that, you will see the same picture and then say that, this is not nice. If it is original thing means it will never change. But what is beautiful, that idea is there, no? That is in your imaginary mind. That will never change. That will never change. So that's why he is telling ideal is real. Ideal means that the thing what we are imagining, the imagined world one will be there, no? That is only real. What we see is not real. What we are seeing and feeling in this earth, the physical world is only the copy of the original. Or the shadow of the image, the original image. Shadow of the original image is not equal to the image itself. That will never change. That idea will never change. But what we practice here will, will change. Like that what he is telling is, the democracy is a form of government which we practice here in this, in this physical world. That is not a good government. He is telling good government is an ideal government. We have to create an ideal state. So Plato's first concept, what we are going to discuss is, Plato's ideal state theory based on justice. So this is one concept. So they won't ask these ideas and all. But without knowing this, if you are discussing Plato's ideal state theory means you won't understand anything. Because what he says we may not be able to accept. But he is going by certain logic. The logic is ideal is real. Knowledge is virtue. Ideal, what that ideal means ideal is found only in the imaginary world, the ideal world. Ideal where is ideal world? Never thinking. Only in the thinking only you can see it. Okay, what is a dog means? What is a dog? Dog means what you will say? It will be white color. Like that will you say? No. White color is the physical form. Okay, it can be black, it can be brown, it can be any color. A dog is an animal. A faithful animal, a friend of man. This is, this is called the original idea. That idea even after 10,000 years, even you die 10,000 years, you, after that also you will say the same thing only. Dog is a faithful animal. It is a friend of human beings, mankind. Because other animals, you have to note that, they, ha they will do some kind of utility to the man. A chicken is coming means we can eat chicken. Okay. If a bull is coming means we can use the bull for work. If cow is there means we can milk it. Goat is there means biryani. Like that, we, every animal I am telling we has some utility. This dog cannot help a man in any way. It is a wild animal. But it is a very cunning animal. Cunning animal means it know how to survive. He finally found that uh, in the wild I can't survive because in wild in uh, jungle other big animals are there. 
at the same time i have to survive so it found that which is the biggest animal strongest animal in the world human being but for human being i am of no use so what to do loyalty okay unquestioning loyalty to the master this is the only thing because because it is actually no utility actually but always dog what it will do is why man is keeping dog by the side means dog is the only animal so far other animals also sometimes will do it some uh, domestic animal but dog will always try to appease its master please its master see see i am a good guy you keep me like the dog no other animal will think horse also will think sometimes yeah, all domestic animals will do it but dog all dog single single target is i have to correct pandra solvaangala the man a human being so we have to correct it loyalty by waving the tail that's all simple we want uh, but the chinese people are eating the dog i don't know how they are doing it so normally we can't eat dog normally we won't eat anything which is showing emotions dog will show lot of emotion we can kill each other why can't i kill you and eat i can do it no but you people are showing emotions i can show emotions that's why human beings earlier the cannibals were there now we are not eating each other killing and eating each other because we are showing emotions so if any animal is showing emotion means we can't eat it okay we will feel it like the dog only weapon is emotion okay only weapon is emotion like the dog is telling okay so we will discuss this further okay i have not discussed any concept this is the preface of the concept the, the, the what is it um that means uh, uh, in order to understand plato's ideal state is in our syllabus question will be asked on plato's ideal state you can't understand why ideal state ideal state he will say something these are all the futures a state should have that cannot be in any country okay no country can follow that there that means in this in real this is our real world according to us practical world means real world in this physical world according in plato's words in this physical world no country is an ideal state actually he is telling no what is a good best best government in the world means he is telling certain features ideal state government that is what we are going to study no country can follow that no country is like that and if you no country like that also we people also doesn't like that so so can understand so like that the situation is there but then why he is proposing such an imaginary utopian idea see we need a role model okay so if you are, so for example last year all india rank one is there he is giving an interview man what we are doing we are going and seeing why what previously we need a role model how they did it like that we have to do it. like that we need someone to show us so if you are going for a duplicate and then thinking that your broken chair is there and then seeing the broken chair you are making a chair man the chair will not become a good chair or a near perfect chair plato is talking about the perfect chair always follow the perfect chair we can't be perfect but we can that is the goal the what is it the the deadline or the uh, what is it um the vision so so uh, so make someone an ideal one and follow that you should not follow another guy who is already maybe good in something but bad in other thing if you follow that guy means we also become bad in other thing so we have to go for the best thing the ideal thing which is available only in the, who is the best guy best guy means how it will be he will be only available in the ideal world only ideal world is imaginary world imaginary world is inside us actually that that is only real so always follow the real don't follow the the xerox copy this is what is telling okay that's why he he is recommending a ideal state don't follow the xerox copy called democracy and say the democracy is good democracy is good means then why people for bottle biryani and uh, 500 rupees they are voting for the a wrong leader they know that that particular leader has done some kind of scams so we speaks for means people vote for him knowing that they are wrong they be people are electing the same guys am i right that means this democracy is not the best form of government is a better form of government than other form of government like that you can say but if you want to create a best statement don't copy a democratic country wrong you have to copy the ideal state of plato so th- this is something like how to clear the ups examination if you are asking means as a plato platonic uh, student what i am doing i am giving you 10 points follow this 10 points you will become civil servant next year you can become even american uh, president like that i can give but nobody can follow this but you should not follow some other guy some other guy's advice because that advice 
half true, half false will be there. But what I am telling is 100% is true. But you can't achieve it. But you have to go towards that. That, that is our uh, aim. Okay. So if you are aiming for something, means that the aim should be pure. Already it is half pure, means why you are going further? You are not going do, doing the best. If you are, that's why I am telling. If you are trying to copy it from an original book, means at least the 60 percent, 70 percent of the content you can bring it in your copied notes. If the other guy is copying from your copied notes, means already 70 percent is only available. From 70 percent, it will reduce to 50 percent. 50 to 40. That means two, three people copy from the copied, copied, copied notes. Means what will happen? Ultimately, the main subject matter will be lost. So this is actually a complex idea. We are not uh, in Plato and note that this political science class is not a philosophical class. Okay, we are not going to discuss philosophy. Philosophy means in exam point of only we are going to discuss. Okay, so I am also not an expert in political science. Expert means in the sense uh, Platonic ideas and all to discuss uh, Socrates ideas and all. No, I, I am not for that. So regarding examination purpose, what are all the things you should know? Okay, so you will understand the, the concepts very well and after understanding it you can interpret in your own way and then write it in your own way so just i'm going to guide you that's all okay uh, if you want to philosophy means you have to join take indian philosophy option nobody is there to take philosophy i, I think nobody is that much good even in delhi i know nobody is there philosophy um, it's tough also tough also means but it will be very interesting actually Plato, what he sees is not accepting means earlier we did not accept, but actually he is telling correct only. What we see is only a copy. This is this is a one version of chair, one copy of chair, not the original chair. So chair is a device to sit and take rest. Okay, that is for that only chair is there. Chair means uh, a seat should be there, a, a place should be there to lean. That's all. This is a chair means wrong. This is a type of chair, not the original chair. This is a chair means then cha all chair should be black in color. That is wrong. This is just a shadow of the original. Instead of copying, uh, making the, the, pro the prototype. In, uh, in They say no prototype. He is going for the prototype. Very simple. Prototype. That's all. Okay. You copy from the prototype, not from the other uh, edition. This is what uh, Plato is telling. Okay. So class, class definitely will be uh, easy. Slow, but steadily it will go. We will have a lot of discussions also. I continuously I won't be uh, telling anything. Okay. So regarding Plato, what do you feel? What if you like that? We'll ask. So last year and all class was very good. Class was very um, what do you say? Um, that means very interactive. Okay. For each and every topic we will discuss. We'll have a discussion because we have two sessions now actually. Weekdays means only one session only will be there. Uh, Five thirty to eight. But now nine to one. So. Uh, all four hours or three and a half hours, I can't uh, tell you all the information, okay? Because it will be overloaded. I will go slowly only. But in area where you can manage by yourself, I know certain, I know based on experience, you know, there I will go a little faster. That and all you can manage without me also. Just I will give you, I will guide you. Where you need full support, I am I am here backing full support. Where you need 50% support, I will give 50%. There are certain areas, bilateral relations and all, again you don't expect me to take the same class. Okay, so if anyone is not uh, attending my GS class means, you just inform me, we will make some arrangement. Other people, just uh, we, we will be discussing uh, some current affairs related one, question based like that we will discuss. Bilateral relation, paper 2, section B and all, don't expect me separate class. Okay, the waste of time. That time, see, what I am going to do is, I am take I am going to take the time and going to utilize it in paper 1, section A, where we need more time. Okay. And again, I am telling this test series, you don't have this kind of text experience anywhere. Okay. It is actually separate course, that one. That is actually separate course, separately you have to pay. So, uh, for uh, for my satisfaction and for your satisfaction, I have inducted into this. We have a, that uh, test orientation class. Okay. Don't miss that. See, that and all complete my own effort. My own effort. Okay. So, uh, this is an answer writing session. So, don't miss this. Okay, so if you stick to this and then you can regularly follow all this test and complete it means definitely I'm telling you will be better. You will feel better. Okay, you'll, you'll have that confidence. And after that, with that confidence, clearing preliminary examination will be easy. Preparing for preliminary examination will be easy. If you don't get confident means you can't clear even preliminary. I'm telling you. 
okay so easy way of getting confidence is you have to master one or two subjects that one subject should be the optional subject because it is having limitation gs is wide open it will be difficult to cover the entire syllabus covering you can't cover the entire syllabus in gs but here we have here also in gs you can cover 60 to 65 66 on two third here you can cover 80 to 85 percent here also 15 percent you can't cover okay but you can manage you will know how to do it certain questions are open-ended question you will never discuss that but you know how to answer that once you know all the core ideas you got all you have to do is you just link it with the application part i easily answer will come okay so is it clear okay if you have any questions means uh, books uh, for books i have given a list okay for paper one section a the introduction to political theory the first uh, six seven chapters first seven chapters will be covered in op goba book and then the tenth chapter will be covered in western political thought op goba western political thinker tenth chapter Ninth chapter Indian political thought proper book is not there, but one OP Goba book is there that is not that much good. Okay, I will provide certain reading materials. And then for paper one, section B, only one book is necessary Indian government and politics by Padia. It's a very big book, but no need to read that book line by line. Okay, first in preliminary point of view, you read Lakshmi Kant thoroughly. And be expert in the basic provisions, etc. in the constitution. After that remaining thing, what do you have to do? Uh, here we have to just apply, find out the subheadings uh, and then examples, uh, cases, etc. That only we are going to edit. So this will be a paragraph reading or page reading book. Even though it is a book, we can we can easily cover it. Lakshmi Gandhi book is also important. And then for paper 2, section A, you have to note that loose materials only are available. Okay, One book it doesn't cover everything. Uh, in paper 2, the chapter 5 and 6, that is international relation theory and key concepts, for that, this book is good. Global Politics by Andrew Haywood. Global Politics by Andrew Haywood. But this book is also not, a, not, not, not everything. Okay, We have to read multiple sources. General reading, newspapers, in websites. We have to read a lot. Okay, Or preferably you can also take 5 or 6, any one book you can buy. But these books are far in other books, it will be very costly, 2000-3000 rupees. But sometimes Indian edition also is available, 800-850 like that. If you if you find that in in uh, uh, Flipkart or um, uh, Amazon, immediately buy it. Don't buy that costly book. Okay, that is 2000-3000 rupees waste. Same book, Indian edition is available, but it will not be available every time. Sometimes only it will be available, frequently check it. If you found that, this global politics book is available 800 rupees 850 or 900 less than 1000 rupees means immediately buy it the indian edition like that the bailey's book global exchange of world politics and for paper one paper two section b newspaper is enough apart from that the world focus magazine is there so that is also good okay bilateral relation based magazine so this is good okay this you can follow so for reading what you have to do is first you attend the class and then in class i will be giving class notes and then after that, I will be uh, giving a written notes also, if wherever possible. I am not giving any guarantee or some handouts I will give. Just to read it. This you read it and get ready for the test. And apart from that, you can go for book. That recommended book. So you go for the book later. First class, attend, listen to the class and read the class notes in the day, on the day itself. That you do it on the day. And then in that particular week, read the written notes or handouts I am giving. Because one book doesn't uh, cover everything. So I will be giving that handouts. And after that, you can go for the uh, books, the books, the prescribed books. Okay. So from these books only, I am taking. Okay. So that written notes it itself will cover. The handouts itself will cover. So no material will be provided. Because the problem is, if a material is there, but the material is waste, it will add space in your shelf only. Because material preparation is very tough. Okay. So material is available. But it is not either it is too much or too less. Like that only material is there. Guides, materials and all. Okay. Just to stick to this. Okay. So since we are having only two classes per week. So we can, five days is there in between. Okay. So slowly, steadily you can prepare. So if you are good in western political thinker and political ideology means you are ready for examination. Literal, literally ready. You have to complete it. What I am telling is remaining things are not that much. 
tough. Western political thinking is also not tough. It will be very interesting actually. See, uh, actually people feel very difficult in paper 1 section A only. Both the paper section A only people will feel difficult. Paper B section, that means uh, paper uh, 1 and 2 section B I am telling. Because, uh, I, I'm, I'm, because uh, open ended question is there, people even without much preparation can write a good answer. But getting good marks means strategy is there. Okay. Anytime you can contact me. Maybe if you call me directly means if I am in a class means I may not be able to take. But send a message. Name, I am from this batch. How many people are from batch 3 and 4? Batch 1 and 2? Okay. Okay, we'll see. Thank you. Thank you.